So this is um JSS1 English um, English topic, English language. Yeah, sorry. So the topic today is active and passive sentences. You can see it on the board there. Active and passive sentences. I know don't still let's go by it one more time. So now before we can go into this topic, we must first understand the basic element. The basic element of this topic. Some of these elements are A. Subject of the verb. B. Verb. C. Object of the verb. Now, if you do not understand these three things, it's going to be very hard for you to understand active and passive sentences. So you must first understand these three things before we go into active and passive sentences. Let's go over it. Now, the first one is subject of a verb. Subject of a verb. It is referred to as the principal noun or pronoun in a sentence. That is the subject is the doer of the action in the sentence. We're going to go over it very soon. Just quickly rush this one part here. So the second one is the verb. The verb is a common part of speech. Yes, we know what a verb is. That denotes action. Yeah. It is the basic ingredient of a sentence. If there is no verb, there is no sentence. Every sentence contains a verb. That is the basic ingredient of a sentence. So that's the second element of this topic. The third one is the object of a verb. The object of a verb is referred to as the recipient, noun or pronoun in a sentence. What does recipient mean? At least the object is the receiver, the receiver of the action in the sentence. That's what I also mean by recipient, the one that receives the action in the sentence. Now, for better understanding, let's take a look at some examples. So I said. Consider that um, element that we look at now. This is where we're going to apply them. So if you don't understand that element, we will not be able to do this one still. So now let's use these examples to clarify what those elements are. Let's go. Now, you can see this example here. The first one is, Abi broke the window. Abi broke the window. Now, if you look at this, this sentence here, there are some basic elements there that we want to bring outside. The first one is Abib. Abib is a noun. The part of speech is a noun. Abib is a noun. Broke is a verb. Action. Yes. So the window is another noun with an article. So it is also a noun. A, you know, name of the thing like that. So Abib broke the window. Noun, the verb, and the noun. So we learned that the subject is the doer of the action. That means the person that does something is called the subject of the verb. Now if you look at this sentence here, who performs the action? Who does the action here, the person that does the action here is Abib. So, technically speaking, Abib is the subject of the verb in this example here. So, you can see how I said subject is the doer of the action, while the verb is the action itself. So, this is the subject of the verb, this is the action itself, and this is the receiver of the action, also called. The object. You know, I told I told you that object is the recipient or the receiver of an action. So let me let me show you how, how it works now. Abib broke the window. Abib is the subject, the doer, the person that does the action, the doer of the action. Verb is the action that was done, what was performed. Then the window is the object, the receiver of the action. So we have Abib broke the window. So if you change all these nouns to pronouns. You still get the same thing. Because I told you that a subject can be a noun or pronoun. Object can also be a noun or pronoun. So a bit becomes e pronoun, but it still remains the subject. Broke the verb, the action, and it it represents the window here. Yeah, it's a thing. So it's also the things, the function of objects. E broke it. E, subject, verb, and object. Let's go on to the second one. Rachael told success a story. Rachael told success a story. Okay? Rachel here is subject, is a noun, because she performs the action. Told is a verb, action that was performed. Success here is the object that receives the action told. So we have doer of the action, action itself, and receiver of the action. Why this one is just a complement? So we still get to that part one time. So she 
Now, the Rachael here has become a pronoun. It becomes she. Because a subject can be a noun or a pronoun. She told her a story. Subject, verb, and uh, object. And the complement. Complement. Now, let's go to the last one there. James kicked the ball. James kicked the ball. James is what? Yeah, we got it right. Subject. Because the performer of the action. Kicked is the, the verb. Thank you. And the ball is the object. How do you know all this? It is common sense. James performed the action. He kicked the ball. He's going to you know, do the action. So, subject. Verb is the action. And the, the thing that receives that action is the ball, which is the object. So, you can bring it down as a pronoun to you. So, like say that a pronoun can also be an object and a subject to you. So, you have he, kicked it. He kicked it. Verb and uh, object. Uh, so, try to understand these basic elements. And then from here, we'll go on to what active and passive sentences are the next time we meet. Okay. Thank you.